Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. As you can see here, we've got a new loading screen. It's called Chasing Down the Clues. Back in Prague, an irate Miller confronted Jensen before taking off for Gollum City to assess the damage done. His departure offered Jensen a chance to investigate him, which the double agent did by breaking into Miller's apartment and stealing an NSN card. Using it could reveal more clues. Jensen also checked in with Smiley, who told him that the mechanism used to detonate the terrorist bombs had come from an analog wristwatch. This pointed to a local watchmaker, Nomad Stanek. So all Jensen had to do next was find him. We are in Jensen's apartment right now, uh, because we just came back here to uh, put some stuff in storage. Um, as I was uh, editing one of my past videos, I, uh, I think I realized something that you guys may have actually already realized. And that is, if I could find uh, this um, pocket secretary from Talus Rucker, um, I can... I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I could find it here. Well, I scrolled through all of my uh, pocket secretaries here, and I do not have this pocket secretary. And I'm thinking it's because I think we gave it to Alex. Um, remember, we had that information that we withheld from uh, Miller. I, I guess we gave it to Alex, and I guess when we gave it to her, it took us out of our uh, it took it out of our inventory. But I have it here in my notes. Uh, so this was the pocket secretary that we found in Talus Rucker's office. It was to unknown recipient from unknown sender. And it said, green light. Spoke to HK. Phase one is go. Deliver orchid ASAP. Then maintain cover. Rest of cell on standby. Additional orders to follow. JM. At the time, I didn't know who JM was. But now I'm pretty sure, uh, bordering on positive, that it's Joseph Manderley who I guess is the chief of Interpol um, or the task forces or something. I'm not sure what he's chief of, but he's pretty high up there. Uh, Miller answers to him. But uh, the spoke to HK, I didn't know who HK was, but now I'm pretty sure that HK is just Hong Kong because uh, in the NSN, uh, we saw uh, Joseph Manderley walk over to some, uh, I don't know, communications device and say, get me Hong Kong. So HK must be Hong Kong. And we know that the orchid is the thing that ended up killing Talus Rucker, so it must be some kind of, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's uh, uh, something they did to his augs or what. But uh, anyway, that's just what I wanted to go over. Uh, HK is most probably Hong Kong, and JM is uh, Joseph Manderley. So, uh, what are we going to do now? Well, if we look at our objectives, uh, we will see that we have a couple side missions here. We can go to a meeting spot and meet with this Dobromila. Uh, and we're going to go do that now because at least that's on this side of town. It's, um, well, it's somewhere over here. I have to take my word for it. We need to leave uh, Jensen's apartment complex before we can go there. So let's go ahead and leave here. Shut the door behind us. And... Um, We'll go meet this Dobermila who uh, hopefully has information about Vincent Black. Because she was supposed to meet him somewhere. And we're looking for Vincent Black. So we'll go out here and it should be down this way. Let's see if I can remember where this is. Huh, actually, no, I'm not sure where it is. Let's look at our map. It is... Oh, it's back here. Okay, so I need to go this way. I kind of went the wrong way. I should have gone around this way, but that's okay. We'll just go straight ahead, and it should take us right to it. I said don't move. Ignorance is no excuse. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Ignorance is no excuse. So here's the courtyard. Oh man, I hope she's here. That doesn't look like her. Well, unless she's wearing a hat. Oh. Okay. Okay, that is her. Oh, her hair looks darker. So we're at the meeting spot. We're supposed to wait for Dobermila. Well, she's right there. Get info from info from Dobermila. 
Vince Black's inf informant made it to our rendezvous. Now I need her to tell me what she knows. Seems like the only way to do that is to pay her or give her a train ticket to Berlin. Alternately, maybe I could just find her husband's smuggling locker on my own. Huh. Okay, we seem to know an awful lot of information here. Why does this have a... That was weird. That had like a exclamation mark next to it. Did you see that a second ago? Huh, I don't know why it had that. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, I guess because that's also new. Uh, wait for Dobermila. This is the courtyard where I was supposed to meet Vince Black's informant. She was adamant that she could get here safely and that the information she had was worth waiting for. Well, I'm actually kind of surprised to see her here. I thought for sure that she was going to be dead. But there she is. She's slowly killing herself. She's not dead yet. What's up? I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Whores. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. Hmm. Negotiate for more information. We could say, all right, this information you have, how much do you want for it? We could ask you these questions. We'll start with these. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to ask all of these. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting, I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. <laughs> Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Would you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Vlesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. Hmm. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour, and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. <laughs> what you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. Well, let's try to negotiate for more information. Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Hmm, refuse or pay. We could refuse. I'm afraid that's not a price I can pay right now. Or we could pay. Here, this should be enough to get you out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and pay her. I mean, good grief. We have we have over a hundred thousand units. I, I I think we could afford three fifty. Um, although I I am curious to know uh, what would happen if we refuse. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pay it. Here, this should be enough to get you out of here. All right. Thank you. 
My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. We've probably already been in that, that uh, storage locker. I bet you have. I bet you it's the one that had a secret entrance to like some underground area with a bunch of guns and stuff. That's That's gotta be it, right? Let's see, it says, read the map. Dobromila scribbled a map onto the back of an old receipt. I have a feeling this is going to lead me to her husband, Blasta. I guess that's a story item. Dobromila's map. Dobromila scribbled the location of her husband's smuggling operation onto the back of an old receipt. Looks like it's not far from Palisade Bank. And the code to get in is 2565. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already been in there. We know how to get there. What happens if we try to talk to her again? You have the information you need to take down my husband's operation. I've told you everything I can. <laughs> I've told you everything. She's told I us can. everything she can. She has. So she says. So who's marked over here and why? Somebody's marked. Delara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into. I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Uh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you came by it how exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. All right. Security. Oh, security drone. <laughs> I thought that said security phone. So I'm curious, who, who did I mark? I don't remember marking anyone. Um, somebody over here? I guess we accidentally marked somebody right in front of that apartment when we were here before. We must have looked at him and uh, accidentally marked, marked him. Oh, the cop is marked. Huh, how weird. Interesting. Um... If I hold down this button... Well, I thought it would unmark all. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's so funny, that guy's filming. Alright, so, uh, now if we look at our objectives... I don't believe we have any more objectives on this side of the map. We need to travel back to Chistachurt. <laughs> Does anybody know how to pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, oh jeez, let's like let's exit this apartment complex so that I could look at the map. Take a good look. I won't be here long. Okay, now let's bring up the map. Um, ugh. bring up our objectives. Now show the map. So we have we have to go here to the police, and we have to go over here to these apartments. And we have to go over here to this uh, locker. Hmm. Boy, I don't even remember what some of these are. Uh, one of them is for the harvester. This optional thing. Oh, okay. This is where we're supposed to go someplace to find uh, evidence for a crime. Um, but my point is, it's also in just a church. So we need to go back there. And our main mission also takes place over there as well. So, we are going to go to the subway and um, travel back over there. Don't know if there's any reason to further explore this part of the map. Examine this ad panel. this? I have found you. Now you must find me, Adam. Please help. Please help? What? <laughs> That's freaking awesome. What? Sometimes just rumors, sometimes warnings or calls for help, or secrets sold by a man with a fake name. No matter how I find out about some of these locations, they are worth a closer look. 
The glitch, someone used an electronic panel to try and contact me. They knew my name and pinpointed a nearby location for us to meet. Ah, it's funny. Um, I uh, heard that ad uh, several times in the other part of the city, that 011 business, and I thought, well, that's kind of weird. So this time I just decided to uh, take a look at it, and what do you know? It's something that we can interact with. So let's try to go here and see what the heck is going on. Very interesting. <laughs> this is such a cool game. I just love this game. It's so much fun. So many surprises and unexpected things. So many places to explore. I, and I just think it's fun to play. I just I just really like it. Let's see where am I going. Uh, yeah, turn left here. Go through here. It used to be a police checkpoint. It's no longer a police checkpoint. Who's this? Pojď si užít, čumáčku. Než tě odlifrujou s ostatníma augama. Oh. Take a chance, is that what she said? Nenech si ujít něco výjimečného. Něco takového v celém golemu si ty nenajdeš. Is she a prostitute? Is that what she's talking about? Not sure. So we're supposed to meet somebody nearby here. In this pawn shop, maybe? Have I been in this pawn shop? The door opened. How is it that I've ever been here? You are almost there. Downstairs. Okay. I fear there is not much time. Okay. Boy, that sounds a lot like uh, the voice from um, System Shock 2, I feel like. One of the voices is... Man, if you've never played System Shock 2, yow, that's a great game. Holy crap. Awesome game. Highly recommend it. More downstairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in here, though, before I go down. Keypad unlocked for us. A multi-tool. Stem processor chip. Um, there's a bunch of computers downstairs, it looks like. Computers. Don't see any people down there. Just computers. Well, let's go downstairs. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. Is this... Hold on a minute. This is... Is this place on the map? Pawn shop. I think I just totally missed this place before. I don't think I went in it. I think I just flat out missed it. Man. Crazy. Let's go see what's going on down here. Two computers unlocked. A bunch of computers unlocked. There's a ton of them. Well, I'll take this reveal software, why not? What's this? I want it. I want that. I want to pick that up. It's hacking software, why can't I pick it up? Oh, I, I need to be far away from it to pick it up. That makes sense. Credit chip. More hacking software. Alright, let's pick a computer. Store manager. Mail. Uh, from Machina to Kenope. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry I couldn't make it today. Had trouble getting through one of the checkpoints. Some damn wrench was causing problems and the rest of us had to suffer for it. Do you mind telling me why we're being so easy on these people? As far as I'm concerned, this Gollum City project is too close for my peace of mind. Send them all to some island and blow the hell out of it for all I care. And what about that Raba place? Nice city in the middle of the desert, far from everyone else. Sounds about perfect to me. Give them a one-way ticket to there. Bah, enough ranting. If you're still in, we could meet tomorrow. What say, TT? Huh, okay. But then, here's Messenger. Hold on, let's see if all these computers are exactly the same. Curious. Store manager. Yeah, they're all the same. So we could use the messenger on any one of them. Okay, well, let's talk to this whoever. Hello, Adam. Thank you for coming. I have secured this location, but we are not safe. Were you followed? Question or reassure? Who are you? What do you want? Reassure. No one followed me. Who the heck are you? The answers we can offer will not be enough. Our memories are incomplete. That is why we need you. There is something you must recover. Missing data. 
old memories. Will you help us? <laughs> Who is this? What do you mean by memories? What are you asking me to find? How do you know who I am? That's a good question to start with. I know who you were. She knows that our enemies are the same. We know that our we know that your actions did this to us. What the hell? She knows that our enemies are the same. Hmm. While the secrecy. What are you so scared of? We are scared of him. She is scared of them. I am scared of no longer being valid. What the hell's going on? This is so awesome. Memories? What do you mean by memories? What are you asking me to find? We are not sure what the missing data contains. Memories. Hell. Hell. Hellas? Yours. Hers. Ours. Zero one zero one one zero zero zero. Ugh, my binary is a little rusty. Uh, zero one zero one one. Off the top of my head, I can't think of what that is. Just tell me what you need. We need you to recover the missing data, duh, and to make it part of us. Decline or accept? Decline. I didn't come here to run errands. Or, all right, where's this missing data of yours? Yeah, like we're going to decline it. Oh, we're going to accept it, all right. The package has been sent to a tourism center in your area. The code to the office is 1591. We will initiate further contact as soon as it is safe. Please hurry, Adam. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Glitch. The message I found in the basement of the Daitaga Bar and Pre... That's not it. I was reading the wrong thing. The glitch. Come on. Come on. You can move down there. Alright, I'm having trouble getting down here. The glitch. Someone used an electronic panel to try and contact me. They knew my name and pinpointed a nearby location for us to meet. Ugh. Did it open up a side mission? Uh, so we got this one in progress. We got this one here. We got this one. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Retrieve Hella's package. I've been contacted by someone who claims to know me. Whoever it is, they're going out of their way to be discreet. If I'm to find out who they are and what they want, I have no choice but to play along. Our objective is to retrieve Hel Hella's package. I'm going to call her Hella. A mysterious contact named Hella wants me to pick up a package that got delivered to a nearby tourism center. The office code is 1591. Supposedly, it's got something to do with old memories. Okay, so it's right across from Adam's apartment. Really? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait a minute. I want to go back in here real quick. Um, I want to see what... Uh, this number is if, and if it means anything to us so let me uh, bring up my calculator here let's see so I should be able to uh, translate binary zero one zero one one zero 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 translate that to decimal What's the number 88? It's the number 88. Well, off the top of my head, I uh, I don't uh, I don't that number doesn't mean anything to me. Um, hmm. I like that it's I like the number 88. It's a cool number, but I don't remember encountering it in the game before this. Let's verify. Yeah, I think these are all just exactly the same. Okay. They are. I'm assuming they are. I'm not going to look at every single one of them. Alright, let's leave here. We're going to go retrieve this package since it's on this side of town.